Okay, enough. I'll be taking questions at the end. Hi, I'm Matt Rogers and today we'll be taking a look inside 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. We'll be comparing the Netflix political drama House of Cards with real life presidencies, both past and present. Oh, and by the way, spoiler warning. The White House. It's been home to every US president except the first, George Washington. But since then there have been countless scandals and drama, both public and behind closed doors. Some would say that most of these come from President Donald Trump, who probably has some of the most similarities to ex-President Frank Underwood. Both are known for distracting the public while holding their political cards close to their chest, both have been thoroughly investigated, and both presidents' decisions have allegedly been influenced by the President of Russia. Even in the news recently, there's been a very close parallel drawn to the show. Data analytics company Cambridge Analytica was discovered to be harvesting over 50 million Facebook users using a personality quiz that collected their profile information. Mark Zuckerberg has said he is sorry for breaching the trust of Facebook users, but fans of House of Cards may realise that two years before this, the show had their Republican candidate Will Conway do the exact same thing with a search engine named Polyhop during his own campaign. Although he spun it to convince his voters that it was to help them help him to know what they really want and need to create a better America. Afterwards releasing all his personal data to the public, just like Hillary Clinton did after her email scandal, as an attempt to calm people's nerves. Now, Frank and Claire aren't the only couple to both try and claim the chair in this Oval Office. The Clintons are also known for their political antics and share many similarities with the Underwoods. With Hillary being an overachieving first lady during Bill's presidency, before seeking the presidency herself. Plus, Hillary was cast aside for the role of Secretary of State, just like Frank was in Episode 1. And both Frank and Bill met a similar end by being impeached under oath of presidency. Speaking of impeachment, fictional President Garrett Walker and Barack Obama were both seen as presidents who were unable to manage an out of control Senate and Congress and were manipulated by their own cabinet and party. But the similarities aren't always loosely based on the past. Netflix has eerily specifically predicted events before they happen. For example, in season 5 there is a gas attack in Syria which the Underwoods use to their political advantage. However, after shooting wrapped for the season, Syria in real life was hit by the worst gas attack in the country's history, which is one of the many examples of the lines of fiction and reality becoming frighteningly blurred. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen, the over-dramatised look at Washington may not be as far-fetched as it seems. As Frank says, politics is no longer theatre, it's show business, so let's put on the best show in town. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all. I said that's all!